Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Rest Talk Straight from Japan and today we're going to do a review on Ikitosen Great Guardians Kana Unchu. And actually this goes out to uh, Anime Guruma. I know he asked me if I had any extra Figma figures. Not that we're open but I decided to buy one anyways. Just y'all can, can see this. Okay, let's take a look at this. First of all, let's move uh, good old Kana Unchu. And let's show you the box. Hey, the inside of the box actually has detailing too. So, but that's okay. Uh, very interesting looking box. Great Guardians Ikitosen. I don't know what the heck Ikitosen is. So if y'all like the fan service anime, and I love the little dragon here on the side. So let's go ahead and show you the back of the box here. There we go. That's what we want to see. Good old fan service for Ikitosen. And I'm going to tell you this right now. In my many years here in Japan, I've never seen any schoolgirl wear a skirt that short and there nor do they have bare drip bare midriffs so they unfortunately they do wear their little sailor outfits don't get me wrong they do have them in fact it's summertime now and it's colored like that I don't know why they love the white and the blue but they're mostly colored like that so no you ain't gonna see anything like that that's why they have anime fan service okay that's pretty much the back of the box here's the side of the box looks like this girl is like I don't know man she's mean <laughs> oh well let's go look at the figure alright so if you want fan service watch the watch the good old anime great Ikitosen great guardians but yeah hey, enough about that let's take a look at this I she actually does come in two fig poses actually one of them is a regular pose over here and the, one of them has the battle scars or the battle the battle pose where she gets uh, torn up I don't know why but I don't know why they fight in this armor or why they fight in their schoolgirl outfit, but if I were there, I might wear armor or something. And she has this humongous looking halberd thing, and I don't know anything about Chinese medieval weaponry, so you're gonna have to tell me what the heck that is. Of course, Figma is known for their joints. I'm always trying to replicate this pose right here. Uh, kind of, sort of, but that's okay. I like the posing, her humongous hair actually serves as a third leg, so, and of course, you gotta have penny shots because upskirt shots are known for that her hair has articulation here on a band why she and of course her neck does crane why she has so much hair I don't know again more fan service she comes with a few accessories too so let me go ahead and show you that she comes with an extra set of let's see four pairs of hands is that as if it was enough I don't know about the Japanese I I would rather not have that many pairs of hands because they just get in the way. They come also with an extra pair of faces, like that one right there. Let me take that. So that, whoops, I don't want her to fall off here. I like the, the, the socks that she wears. So she comes with two extra faces. Not, not bad over here. Let me go ahead and move that up. She got a regular face here, so when she's not upset at people. And an angry face. Right now she's got her growling face. And their angry face has a little bit of blush. I don't know if it comes, it can, you can see that. But you can have those two. And of course, if you want to display her in her normal mode, she comes with an extra pair of breasts. <laughs> yeah, you have to pop her breasts off. And an extra skirt that is not, both of them are not battle damage. But let's face it, we're going to show you the fan service. So I want to show you the battle damage. So let's go ahead and show you the figure. Let's stand her up. She is about a five and a half inch figure. I'm gonna take her pole arm, and as you can see, the battle dress or yeah, the battle damage. You can see her tore up. You can see her under boob, and all you basically have to do to do that is rip off her breasts. And I'm not gonna show you to do that. And to change faces, all you have to do is just pretty much pop this off. And right there, as you can see, her neck is on a ball joint, and they just come right back on. So that's not that bad. Unfortunately, it's not perfectly seamless, as you can see, a little cracks on here. So yeah, as far as articulation, typical Sigma, ball jointed on the, on the shoulder, good 360. You can move over here. I think a little bicep swivel, not too much on that. Double jointed elbow, the Figma joint here. Wrist is on a ball joint, and to change out the fits, all you have to do is just pop them off, and they're really tight. So there's the joint right there. There we go. Snaps right in. And the wrist is not only in a ball joint, but it also can swivel. So he's got good articulation. Alright. 
Okay, the hip joint is on a ball joint and has a thigh swivel, so you can see right there. Ball jointed knee, double jointed, and of course the shoes, and they are like that. Very limited articulation because of the socks, but normally these things have side to side and it is on a ball joint. Of course the weapon is a huge pole arm. Again, I don't know, but look at the detail on that. Kind of neat, so there we go. Very neat looking figure, and I love the facial expression there. Yeah, she's upset, I guess, after being beat down. Let's go ahead and stand her up. She does come with a stand, but I, I, you know, I can go ahead and, let me see, depending on, there we go. I know I can get her to stand up, so I'm not going to try with the articulation there. Stop rocking back and forth. <laughs> That's okay. She has bigger size feet than Maki Illustria, so she can stand up. She does come with a stand, so if you wanted a poser and some dynamic poses, you certainly can do that. So I'm not going to do that, but for size comparison, just move the camera out over here or just move the camera up. I'm going to see she is with a six inch figure. She is slightly smaller. She is about five and a half inches. So there we go. Great looking figure. I'm not going to, I'm going to say, so I'm going to give her eight and a half out of ten good looking detail good looking paint apps and unfortunately Japanese schoolgirls do not look like that one more one more pose because I like I just love that face facial features of her there we go nice extreme close-up all right that's all I got youtubers and I'll catch you all next time